Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Cars 19, and I thought of another video to make with the Corvette, and that is going to be about the PDR or Performance Data Recorder, as you can suggest from the title. Um, what it is is pretty much a dash cam with performance overlays that you could customize on 2015 and up Corvettes. It's like an option or it comes standard on certain Corvettes, like probably the Z06, I would imagine. Not totally sure, but if your Corvette is equipped with it or you're thinking about equipping a Corvette with it, uh, hopefully this video can help you understand what it's all about and what it can do. So that's what it's going to be over. I think it's a pretty cool tool that we don't really use as often as we should, but it is a cool thing to do, especially if you're driving on track. So we'll go ahead and flip the camera over here and we're pretty much there but uh, if we go home and this is obviously the menu that you would be familiar with uh, so if you just click on the PDR here uh, these buttons right here are gray because I'm not set up to uh, to do PDR because I don't have an SD card plugged in uh, but I already ran some tests that I could show you guys later but if you open up the glove box you have this slot right here it's kind of dark so I don't know if it's gonna be able to pick it up yeah right there that little slot uh, you just put a SD card in there, just a normal size, not a micro, just a uh, run-of-the-mill SD card. And then once that's plugged in, you can get the option of start recording or recording uh, or recorded sessions. You can see what you've already recorded. You have to be in park, obviously, or just not moving to uh, access that for obvious reasons. But uh, anyway, yeah, we don't have those because we don't have the SD card, but I can still walk you through this. You could go ahead and define finish line, uh, and I'll also use GPS to kind of show the track outline, depending on the overlay you choose. Let's go over to the overlays. Here are our four options. We have no overlay, which looks something like this. It's just going to be like a normal Russian dash cam ready for some action to happen. Uh, but yeah, just pretty much no distractions, just simple video. They say it's HD video, but uh, I think the, you know, it's okay. It looks like a dash cam t uh, type uh, quality. It's not the best, but it'll do uh, decently. We go over to sport though, and it obviously changes quite a bit. In sport, you can see on the top left that there is the miles per hour. Unfortunately, it's in white, which is kind of hard to see in a bright sky uh, with or without clouds. Uh, it was a darker day today, so it might be easier. Uh, top right will show what gear you're in. Bottom left will show your lateral G-force. And then bottom right will show the RPM you're at. So pretty cool uh, overlays there as well. Now, if we go down to track, this is my favorite one. Track will pretty much do that in a couple of additions. On the top left, it says GPS tracking map. That's just because I'm driving on the public road, but uh, if you're on a track, it'll pick it up, or you could just do the define finish line or whatever. Um, so it can show you where you are relative to the track, so that's pretty cool. And then on the center, there is the miles per hour. Again, it's in white, kind of tough to see. And then top right is gonna be uh, the gear you're in. And then also new to the uh, track overlay is how much gas and brake application there is, which is pretty cool, so you could really kind of fine-tune your your uh, your racing line looking at all that bottom left is going to show your g-force also but in a different kind of way kind of showing that ball uh, move left right and everything uh, right in the center down will be the rpm and then on the bottom right it's kind of cool it shows your steering angle also kind of helps fine-tune your uh, your uh, racing line so pretty cool and then uh, the last one is performance timing uh, kind of same thing kind of gets rid of some stuff you can see on the left 0 to 60, a 0 to 100, quarter mile, 0 to 100, back to 0. It will time all that. Uh, center, again, is the, uh, the miles per hour. And then just the uh, throttle application. I guess you don't need to know how much brakes there is to get a good quarter mile time, so that's why. And then uh, top right, what gear you're in. And then obviously bottom uh, center is going to be your RPM. So that's pretty much all your overlays right there. So pretty cool. Again, my favorite is track, kind of everything I need. Uh, actually, that's not accurate. Not everything I need. Just cool to look at, I guess. Um, so yeah, once you choose your uh, video overlay, you can start recording and then stop recording. Uh, look at all that, and then let's go down to settings here. Uh, valet mode recording. That's kind of an interesting one. Some people have been uh, known to catch their uh, dealers or servicemen or whatever doing some uh, some spirited driving with valet mode recording, and then just software information here. But uh, yeah, kind of interesting stuff here. So uh, when you click on valet mode, it says overwrite data when memory full and automatically record in valet mode. So you could kind of choose your settings. If you have a Corvette, I would recommend not valeting it, but uh, kind of interesting stuff. So there's the PDR for you. Um, I hope you guys kind of saw uh, something out of this. We have the PDR on this Corvette. Don't use it that often, but it is cool. Um, uh, nonetheless. So if you're going to be doing track driving, it, it would be really, really cool to have it fine-tune your racing line. 
Anyway, I'm not using AC for some reason. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something from this. Stay tuned for plenty more videos to come. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.